Okay, to the other little pack. Um, like I said, this is probably the one I reach for the most because it's got more of the commonly used everyday items that somebody would probably use. Um, so in this one, this is how I got set up. Um, got an extra, I do believe, I'm not sure what that key goes to. I think it's an extra key to my toolbox to my truck, but I'm not for sure. I have a can opener. I have a set of uh, headphones, earbuds. This is a little, um, just a real small uh, screwdriver uh, with, you know, just got the real basic, you know, Phillips and, and uh, a real small one. There we go. <clears throat> I have a really small uh, big lighter. Always get the white ones because you can hold up to the light and you can see how much fluid that's in, is in there. I do have a, a Swiss Army uh, Tinkerer. I love these knives, but for me, they're a little bulky. Um, I stopped carrying big bulky stuff in my pockets years ago. I just typically go pretty minimalist when it comes to what I carry in my pockets. Only just here in recent weeks, I've been carrying a bigger a bigger folder, uh, mainly because, and I only time I carry that is on the weekends. Um, I walk so much through the day, and uh, I have to care. I have to wear like a a scanner belt around my waist every day anyway at work, and I just don't need a bunch of stuff weighing my pants down. So um, mainly, it's just wallet, keys, and phone for me. I do carry a hanky every day. And I've been trying to carry a neck gaiter every day, um, mainly just because it's getting colder outside. Um, but when it comes to knives, I just have a very small knife on my keychain, and that's it. Um, this used to be my everyday carry knife, and I love these knives. Um, they've got great scissors on them, and this is, like I said, the Swiss Army Tinkerer. Um, but now I just keep it in the in the EDC bag. Um, Another set of tweezers. Now these are the type of tweezers that if you want to hold on to something, it'll hold it for you. So they clamp instead of instead of like you have to hold it, these will hold it for you. I have another, I have a really small glow stick. Um, this is just a cheapy, probably Halloween glow stick. I do have another Sharpie. Um, I do have in the back here, some wet and dry sandpaper and uh this stuff can come in so handy sometimes um i really would rather have some emery cloth and uh, i just can't find it anywhere in a big piece but um you know if you ever have like uh you know like a grounding issue with like trailer lights or um, wiring in a, in a vehicle or something, oftentimes just cleaning off a couple of terminals may fix it. Um, and I mean, there's a million other uses for, you know, for sandpaper, but my main thing is, is for, um, just using it as, you know, like if you need to clean off a terminal, uh, terminal to, uh, something in a car, like a car battery terminal or something, just enough to scratch off the rust or something just so you can get things moving. So um, that's, what I, that's what I keep that for. I do have a, a very small uh, set of Crescent wrench um, uh, channel lock pliers. And I always kind of figured with um, the screwdriver of these and my multi-tool, you know, you could definitely at least take out a car battery so if you ever need to do that, I do have uh, a cross in here. Um, this is a cross that was given to me. Um, I uh, got it from a men's retreat, uh, so that's important to me. So I do keep that in here. Um, I carry an extra handkerchief. Never know where you're gonna need that. I have another one of those telescoping rods. Um, a lot of this is redundancy in this pack because oftentimes what I'll do is I'll just grab this pack 
um, and I'll just, I won't grab my bag, so. And then um, I have just uh, inside here, I'm not gonna take it all out, but just um, random boo-boo stuff in here. I've got a pack of gum. Probably need to uh, swap that out. I don't know. I don't know how old that is. Uh, yeah, I might want to swap that out. I don't really chew gum, but you know. And then here I've got just like boo boo stuff, um, band aids, more glass cleaning stuff, and um, yeah. So yeah, there's that. And then um, I have a piece of glue stick. And uh, this would come in handy for, um, if you get something stuck inside something else, if you're going to uh, maybe open your uh, lock, use you know your key in your lock to your house or something, and for some reason your key snaps, either like in the, in the lock on your uh, house door or say like the ignition of your car or in a car door, you can take the lighter, heat up the glue stick, get it nice and hot and press it into the lock and um, you can oftentimes get that piece of that key out uh, by doing that. So that's one of the main reasons I keep something like that around. So yeah, so I have another small piece here. So one's a bigger piece and one's just a smaller piece. So um, that's why I keep those in there. And the one thing that's fun about these videos is that once you're done doing all this, you gotta put it all back. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And then I'll go through my two, um, my two uh, survival tins here. Okay, so this tin is not necessarily like a survival tin. It's kind of more set up for like an extra wallet. Um, so it's got some. It's got like an ID card in it, and it does have. Um, some cash so you just never know I mean mainly just ones so you never know where you're gonna need to go to like a vending machine or something and get something to eat or whatever but then I'm not gonna show you the rest I think the rest of what's in here is like some band-aids and stuff but mainly this is just kind of like an extra an extra wallet um, you just never know when you know you've got to just maybe get a snack or something or you know stop at a gas station and get something um, I need to put more money in this, but I rarely ever carry cash, so, um, but yeah, so that's what this is. And then this thing is like a survival tin. And uh, <clears throat> you can tell that it's not the size of an Altoids tin. Typically, your survival tins that people use are the Altoids size tins. This uh, tin was an old, well, it wasn't old. I bought this new at the Dollar Tree years and years and years ago. And uh, it was a puzzle. It was a kid's puzzle box. I think it was like Disney or something. I don't remember. And uh, I came home and I stripped all the paint off of it. And that's why it's got that really rusty looking kind of patina because it's just bare metal. So um, you can see that where I sanded all the metal off. But um, this thing has saved my butt several times. Um, just, you know... Um, yeah, and I'm going to take all this stuff out, and it's going to be hard to put it back in, but, uh, so, um, so it is a little bit bigger than your average Altoids tin, because it is, um, it, like I said, it was a puzzle box. You can find those puzzle boxes at the Dollar Tree, sometimes around Christmas time. Um, I haven't seen them in a long time, but, um, they come in all different characters and stuff, and like I said, I just brought it home and sanded it off, uh, you know, sanded everything off and just used it as the as the tin that I needed. So, um, so on the inside, I've got some gaffer tape or well, not gaffer tape, but like, um, tape for you know, sports tape. And that is holding a very large, um, like sewing needle, like a canvas needle. Um, I have an extra lighter. So another extra Bic lighter. I've got some zip ties, some small zip ties. I have a very small magnifying glass just in case I need to see something small. Um, I've got, uh, some super glue, so super glue, I've got several of those, more super glue, 
and more super glue. This is just a piece of, um, it's actually a piece of plastic mirror and uh, I've taken it and wrapped some uh, thread around it with some needles. So it's just like a little sewing kit. Um, here's a small um, roll of duct tape, whole bunch of different sized, um, yeah, safety pins. Here's a small hank of jute twine. This stuff's super flammable if you really need to start a fire. Um, this stuff will catch a spark pretty easy. Um, I've got a really small generic um, type um, uh, pocket knife. I have another can opener. Actually, I have two of them in here. Another uh, couple of can openers, military style. Here's uh, alcohol wipes, some first aid stuff. More super glue. Uh, another set of tweezers. Um, another hacksaw, and I've got a another needle taped to it. Um, some wire, some more zip ties, a whole bunch of different band-aids, um, and some more glass uh, cleaning kits. I do have some tin foil in here, so if you needed to, um, if you really needed to make a fire and you needed to collect the kindling, you can put it on this and that's what you can use to start your fire. I've got some right in the rain. I'm pretty sure it's right in the rain uh, paper. That way you could write something down. I don't have any, any way to write in here. I need to put a pencil on here. Um, I got some more other just regular paper. This is a sewing spool with some um, fishing line on it. I probably need to replace this. Um, that's some pretty old fishing line, so I might have to work on that. I've got some more sandpaper. And I have in here, if I can get it out, um, this is by far one of the better deals that you can get. It may have the film on it. Yeah, I think I got the, it's still got the plastic film on it. So just go to Walmart and used to be able to go to Walmart and buy replacement, find replacement mirrors for like uh, rear view mirrors for cars or side mirrors. And it's just, it comes on a piece of plastic and you can cut it to any size you want. It's not super expensive. Um, if you can't find it at Walmart anywhere, you can probably find it on Amazon. Um, but talk about, you can make a lot of uh, mirrors with it as far for survival kits. And you can cut it down, it cuts with scissors. And you can cut it down really small and you can even, you know, you can put it in, you know, really, really small kits. So, um, I don't know exactly what that, it's the, it's the plastic mirror replacement for car mirrors is what it is. Um, then I have a bunch of nails. Just never know you might need a nail. And, uh, these are finished nails and a paper clip. So just, uh, yeah, kind of your basic you know, survival stuff, nothing, you know, too crazy. Um, mainly sewing and small first aid and just small repairs. Um, could I add to this? Probably, um, definitely for sure. Um, you know, I could add, I would, you know, wouldn't mind add, adding maybe a hacksaw blade or not a hacksaw blade, but like a, like a more of a wood blade, like a, like a, yeah. Um, sawzall blade or something, um, you know, that way you can really cut and maybe like a small ferro rod. That way I could start a fire. I do have, you know, the lighter, but you know, these can fail. Let's see if this one's still working. Yep. So, um, so it's kind of got a little bit of an urban vibe. You know, the can openers are definitely something, you know, you can find a can of food or whatever in an urban area. Um, so when I've got all this in here, it's all messed up now, but, um, yeah, so it's, you could definitely start a fire with the alcohol swabs or, you know, just use those for whatever, um, probably put a dude wipe in here. That'd probably be a good, good upgrade. But, um, but like I said, something like this can really bail you out, um, as far as, you know, even in, you know, or urban or like a like an herb or like a wilderness environment, you know, at least with this, I could, you know, with the Bic lighter, 
um, and uh, the tin foil and the jute twine, I can definitely start some sort of a fire. So, um, but yeah. So that's it. So that's my everyday carry setup. So, um, oh, and on my bag I had, um, I have a, a uh, paracord bracelet that has a glow in the dark um, whistle on it. And it's got a uh, ranger band on it for fire starting. And I think inside I have an alcohol swab. I tried to stuff some stuff in this for like a survival bracelet. I just can never get it to work very well. But it's got a few things in here. I think there might be some fishing line in here. So that is just, you know, extra pair of cord, extra, you know, extra cordage. And that's it. So pretty cut and dry. Um, so yeah. So this is Triple Nickel Niner. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, check me out on TikTok. And I'll probably go ahead and post this video today. But what I may do is I'll split some of it up, split some of it up in shorts. That way, you know, you can check out the long video or the short video. And, um, yeah. Uh, so, Triple Nickel Niner. Uh, Everyday Carry. Triple Nickel Niner. Out.